What's up guys, Rob Kuhn here. And if you've been living under a rock, there has been a heads up match that has taken the world by storm and we can't watch it. This is the worst. However, I am going to bring you exclusive leaked footage that I have personally gotten from Berkey. I can't tell you all of the hands. I am gonna show you pretty much, uh, I think I'm gonna show you every single hand besides one out of the four that we're about to cover. These hands are wild. These hands have everything. There's cards being thrown at each other. There's just, this is everything. This is what we want. Honestly, I've been, you know, I've been refreshing Twitter to see what the hell's going on, getting updates from Berkey, getting updates from everyone. This is what we live for, these heads up death matches. This is 200, 400. $100,000 men buy in with a $1 million stop loss. No one can quit until there's a $1 million loss, okay? Anyway, let's go ahead and get into hand number one. With the blinds being 200, 400, Berkey opens to 1,200 and gets three bet by airball to 4,800. Berkey decides to go for the call with king 10 off, which is very standard. You can go for a low frequency four bet every once in a while, but calling is definitely the preferred option. On the Jack 552 five, heartboard, Airball goes for the bet of one third, and Berkey goes for the call with the over backdoor straight draw on the backdoor flush draw. This is very standard. Um, you can have some low frequency raises here, but that's getting way too in the weeds. Let's not too, get too, too technical here. Heads ups are very, very hard. On the king turn, this is obviously gin for Berkey, but also a very good card for Airball because he gets to bluff this card and he gets to bluff this card to a big sizing for the most part. Airball decides to go for the bet of 15,000 into 17,000, and there's nothing else to do for Berkey besides call. With 47,000 in the middle on the river, Airball has a complete easy check give up. You don't want to have the ace of hearts in this spot because you start to block their flush draws. So he bets 35,000, and Berkeley promptly calls. Let's go on to hand number two. Now, I don't know the exact stack depths uh, at which they were at. Uh, I just know the hand histories. So let's just assume they're always at least 300 big blinds deep because Berkey covered him for most of the match, even though I, I thought Airball was supposed to cover him the whole match, bottom for a mil or whatever. Not sure what happened to it. Anyway, Berkey opens to 1,200. Airball goes for the call with 2,400 in the middle on an 8-7-3 two spade board. Berkey bets 40% to 1,000. Airball makes a very small check raise to 3,000. Um, Berkey decides to just call with 9, 10 of hearts with the open-ended and backdoor flush draw. Um, doesn't really ever need a three bet here. This is just an easy call. You know, hit your card, you know, hit a 9, 10. You got plenty of hands to go with here. Uh, plenty of cards to hit rather. With 8,400 in the middle on the turn, Airball bets 7,000. And Berkey once again, just goes for the call on an offsuit three river with a little over 22,000 in the middle airball bets half pot, which doesn't really seem like a sizing to me. I think you would probably want to utilize a lot of bigger sizings here and Berkey folds the 10 high. However, airball not having enough of just winning the pot decides to throw his cards at Berkey. Hey, airball win milling cards. I'm going to be doing this. If you get hit, it's your own fault. Yeah, yeah, it kind of works, right? To hand number three. For hand number three, this pot is an absolute doozy. I think they're playing something like a thousand big blinds deep, like 400K, maybe like 300K, 400K deep. It's just infinitely, infinite big blinds. Berkey opens to 1,200. Airball three bets to 4,800. Berkey just goes for the call. The flop comes ace, queen, jack, and airball decides to bet 150%, which is completely not a thing. You do not overbet this deep, uh, especially on this board. Uh, you have plenty of bets, but mainly to a small sizing. With that said, Berkey does for the call. With 38,000 going into the turn, the queen comes and airball bets pot. That's 40,000 and 38,000, which is also not a thing because Berkey's going to have a lot more Queen X than Airball. Uh, he wants to be utilizing a lot of small bets here as you're not going to be betting 150% of your range with Queen X on the flop because that would just be, well, quite frankly, just ridiculous. Uh, so like if you have a hand like Queen 10 suited or King Queen suited, all of these hands are going to go in the small bet category where Airball goes for the big bet on the flop and now betting pot on the turn. With that said, Berkey just goes for the call. We have $118,000 going into the river. 
On and off suit, Deuce River. Airball bets 100,000. Berkey tanks and jams for 140,000 more. We got a big pot, folks. We got a big pot. Airball tanks for a long time and then folds and says he has a boat. A boat. Says he has a boat. I've once told people I have a Doesn't mean it's the truth. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the next hand. As for the last hand, that was one hand that Berkey requested that I I don't say what he actually had. Um, you know, when you're playing in these nosebleed heads up matches, giving your opponent any kind of edge is just not necessary. So it's it's you know completely understandable. Yeah, it's not good for our viewing pleasure, I understand, but it is, you know, I'm still giving you guys recaps that I can, you know, it's, uh, I know this format is a little bit different than what we're used, we're, we're used to, but this is not stream, so this is the best you're going to get, okay? I'm doing the best I can do, okay? Anyway, for our final hand, Berkey, three bets to 6,000. Now, note that they are using different three bet sizings. Uh, Airball is three betting to 4,800. Berkey is using a bigger sizing to 6,000. Both sizings can be utilized here. You just have to switch around your ranges. So if you three bet smaller, you can three bet more. If you three bet bigger, you just have to three bet less. That's just how poker works. Welcome to, welcome to Theory Land. Hop aboard, kids. I have something to show you. Uh, are you <laughs> no. So Berkey three bets to 6,000. Airball goes for the call. We got 12,000 in the middle. On a 7-5-3 board, Berkey bets 3,000, and Airball just goes for the call. On a three turn, bringing the backdoor spade, Berkey goes for the check. Airball bets 9,000, which is half pot, and Berkey just goes for the call. On the four of hearts river, Berkey checks. Airball bets 36,000, which is pot, Berkey folds, and once again, we get old airball windmill. <laughs> throwing the cards at Berkey with the King Jack. So he went for the float with King High, which is definitely reasonable. On the turn, he turns King High into a bluff, which is just not a thing. Uh, def definitely a hand you want to just be checking down. High cards pretty much always check down and heads up poker. This is just kind of how it works. And on the river, I mean, sure, the one one liner to the straight. I don't know. You got there with King Jack somehow, so you might as well figure out a way to bluff it. Anyway, the old windmill King Jack, throw it at him, show him the bluff. You know, yeah, I got you. Ends up winning for old air ball here, and he scoops the pot. Um, these boys are battling. Look, folks, this war is raging on. Berkey had a massive day, almost winning 400000 during the session. I got like 30 hands to choose from. I just picked out four randomly. I have a lot of other hands I can cover from this session. If you guys want to see more hands like this, leave a comment below and let me know. And while you're down there, click the sub button because only 7% of viewers are subbed and it really helps the channel grow and helps the algorithm. Anyway, there's going to be plenty more action coming and hopefully a lot more from this channel. I hope you guys really like this. Much love. Baby, you give me ice and fire. Bye-bye.